。二零二三年第廿四、第廿五条 M C 咧，系有关于变异嘅数据分析题目嚟嘅。咁下面呢两幅图咧，就系讲紧啊，我哋将一啲外来嘅植物物种咧，就引入去到本地嘅植物花园啦。咁啊，经年累月之后咧，啲园丁就发现啦。啲花嘅大細有啲改變喎，咁下面呢兩幅圖咧就係講緊呢一個外來嘅植物物種啦，佢哋嘅第一代同埋十代之後，佢哋嗰個花瓣嘅長度嘅分別啦。咁 x axis 就係花瓣長度啦，而 y axis 咧就顯示翻有幾多朵花咧係達到呢一個長度啦。咁我哋發現啊，喺初代嘅時候咧。較為多嘅花咧，佢嘅花瓣嘅長度係四 cm 嘅，而十代之後咧，大部分嘅花咧，佢哋都係坐落喺五 cm 嘅花瓣長度嗰樹喎。咁即係話啦，十代之後咧，普遍嚟計，佢哋花瓣長度係大咗啦。咁而家呢個題目啦，就第一啦，啊，跟住考翻我哋閱讀個圖表啦。第二啦，亦都考翻我哋咧，點樣去分辨得到連續變異同埋不連續變異嘅？咁同一時間咧，亦都考我哋有關於基因變異嘅來源係如何啦。咁啊，第廿四條就問翻啦，下面邊一句咧係正確咁描述得到呢一個花瓣長度嘅遺傳係正確嘅咧？咁啊，咁而家我哋嚟做一擊破咯。第一句咧，佢就講啦，花瓣嘅長度咧係受到環境因素影響嘅。嗱，咁呢一句咧係正確嘅。咁啊，因為啦，植物物種咧，佢係一個外來嘅物種。正所謂新泥步道啊嘛，去到一個新嘅地方，唔係佢平時住開嘅地方咧，自不然啦，佢就會感受到一個環境嘅壓力啦，或者一個篩選嘅力量啦，就去施加喺棵植物物種嗰樹啦。啊，咁究竟喺呢個地方咧，咁啊適合係啲大啲嘅花，定係細啲嘅花生存咧？以前住嘅地方咧，朵花細啲冇乜所謂嘅，但係嚟到而家新嘅地方啦，會唔會帶嚟一啲影響咧？因為點解咧？因為我哋發現得到咧，佢係一個連續嘅變異嚟嘅，係咪啊？佢唔係一條條嘅疤，佢就淨係得咧，誒三 cm、四 cm、五 cm， 唔係喎，我哋會發現啦，有三點三 cm、四點七 cm、五點六 cm 嘅，原來係一條曲線嘅演繹嚟嘅喎，係連續嘅變異嚟嘅喎，咁所以啦，我哋更加肯定得到咧，佢係關個環境因素事嘅。咁第一句正確咯，而第二句咧就係講花瓣長度嘅遺傳咧，係由幾個基因咧所以控制住嘅。咁呢句都係正確嘅。咁原因啊，都係因為我哋見得到咧，佢係有好多嘅 intermediate 嘅長度，就唔係一條條嘅疤俾我哋見得到，就唔似我哋嘅血型啊嘛 ，A 型血、B 型血、AB 型血、O 型血，咪咪就係四款咯。我哋係冇中間噶嘛，係咪？咁但係啦，花瓣呢度頭先我所講啦。我哋有啲四點一、五點九、六點七，係嘛？我哋發現咧，原來係一個連續變異嚟嘅呢個花瓣嘅長度。其中嘅可能性就係環境影響啫，而第二個可能性就係有好幾個基因一齊控制住呢個花瓣嘅長度，再加埋環境因素影響，兩者結合咧，就令到有一個連續嘅變異去顯示到俾我哋睇啦。去到第三句咧。佢就再講咯，花瓣長度嘅變異咧，其實係獨立分配嘅結果嚟嘅。咁其實呢句都係正確嘅。咁其實有好多同學咧就係冇揀呢一句嘅，佢哋會覺得咧獨立分配其實唔關事噶。但係你要明白喎，同原染色體嘅獨立分配係喺我哋嘅減數分裂第一期嘅中期第一期。其實係總會做嘅喎，係咪？所以咧，佢哋都係會影響咗我哋個表現型嘅表達嘅。咁所以原來啦，一、二、三三句都係正確，尤其是第三句咧，大家要明白翻，其實啦就影響咗我哋嗰個配子嘅生成啊。因為我哋整出嚟嘅配子可以粒粒唔同啊嘛。咁佢哋再交配嘅時候啦，係咪有機會令到啲花瓣嘅長度就會變得不一樣啊？所以答案咧就係 D 咯。咁過往咧都有唔少題目係有關於變異嘅，咁啊例如啦同卵相生嗰題又講變異啦，我哋有條 S 又係講變異啦，咁啊快快手睇下片温下書啦噃。Two two three M C question twenty four and twenty five refer to the information about the introduction of a foreign plant species to a local botanic garden. Over the years, the gardener noted that there was a change in the size of its flowers. So you can see the following two graphs. So it shows that the variation in the petal length of this plant species in the first generation and after ten generation. For the x-axis, it shows the length of the petal, and for the y-axis, it shows that how many flowers it shows this length. 
So for the whole question, it checks us the graph reading skills. Also, check us the concept about the continuous variation and the discontinuous variation. And we also need to recall the sources of the genetic variation. So let's take a look at the question. Which of the following correctly describe the inheritance of the petal length in this plant species? So for the first statement is that the petal length is affected by the environmental factors. This statement is correct because for the plant species, it was once a foreign plant species. So when it arrived, this new habitat, so there must be some environmental stress or selection force exerted on the plant species. Because for this plant species in his own original habitat, so maybe it has a smaller flower, it's still okay. But for the new habitat, so it needs to adapt it. It may be affected by the environmental factor to show a bigger flower. And you can see from the graph, it is a curve rather than the distinctive bar. So it shows that there are a lot of intermediate length of the petal. Not only just 3 cm, 4 cm, 5 cm, but maybe 4.1 cm, 5.22 cm, 6.17 cm, a lot, a lot. Therefore, it also proved that the environmental factor may be involved in the variation. And then for the second statement, the inheritance of the petal length is controlled by a number of genes. This statement is also correct. According to the graph, the curve showing intermediate length of the petal instead of the distinctive bar as what I mentioned. So it shows that the variation of the petal length is a continuous variation rather than the discontinuous variation, not like the blood group. Blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB, and blood group O. They are the discontinuous variation, right? But for the length of the petal, you can see a curve, many intermediate. Therefore, for the statement number one is about the environmental factor. Also, the character can also be controlled by a number of genes to increase the variation, the intermediate length of the petals. Therefore, statement number two is also correct. And then for statement number three, the variation in the petal length is the result of the independent assortment of what? Of the homologous chromosome. This statement is also correct. Not many students chose this because they do not think that independent assortment would affect the petal length. However, in fact, the independent assortment of the homologous chromosome takes place during meiosis 1, metaphase 1. So it will also exert an effect on the phenotypic expression. Why? Because for the independent assortment of the homologous chromosome, it will affect our gamete production to increase the genetic variation for the gametes, right? Therefore, if we have different types of gametes and then for the germination, for the fertilization, so it will produce different types of cycles. Therefore, number three is also correct. And the final answer will be D. So you can see that there were a lot of questions about the variation, not only MC, but also the essay question. So watch the video for the revision.